we're going to continue working on the page that we created the navigation bar on and what we're going to use next is we're going to create a hero section on the page i've collapsed the code for my navigation just to get that out of the way and i'll begin by making a header element this element is going to require some classes so i'm going to add the class attribute and we're going to add padding all the way around of four we're going to add margin on the top and the bottom and let's set that to two and then we're going to add a bg light which is going to fill this with a light gray color and i'm going to round the corners by using rounded dash three then we'll go ahead and we'll place an element inside this is going to contain the content that we're going to be using i'll just use a div for this this needs to have a class of container dash fluid which will ensure that this is able to shrink and grow and then we'll go ahead and inside this div we're going to create an h1 our h1 element is going to say dolphins and for classes on the h1 i'm going to go ahead and set the class to a display of five which is going to make the class fairly large when we set the display class you may recall that it does make the text so that it isn't bold i actually want this text to be bold i just want it to be this size so if we want text to be bold we can use fw which stands for font weight and then use dash bold and that will make that element have bold text so i'm going to do that for this particular example then i'll go ahead and i'll make a paragraph i'm going to go ahead and specify some classes here as well on the paragraph I'm going to use call-md-8. This will allow our paragraph to take up eight units of our 12 unit grid. And let's also add the class of lead, which will give this text a slightly larger size. And then finally, I'm going to include a button. And what we're going to do on the button is we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a class of BTN, which is the button class. In addition to that BTN class, I'm going to use BTN-dark, and we're gonna use BTN-lg because this button is going to be larger. And in addition, we're gonna to need to add the type attribute and set that to button. When we save and refresh, you're gonna see that this is what this area of our page looks like. Now, what I ultimately would like to do is I would like there to be a background image inside of this particular section. In Bootstrap, if we want to add a background image, we're going to have to create that CSS ourselves. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that on this page. I'll create embedded styles for this example. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to target my header element, and then I'm just going to set my background image. And let's use a background size of cover that'll just stretch the image so that it takes up the entire space that is available. So you can see what's happening with our image right there. I'm also going to align the image a little bit differently. So I'm going to use background position and we'll set that to center. And that's just going to center this picture inside of this hero section. Now, obviously the text is a little bit difficult to see. So what we need to do is we need to change the color of the text and we can easily do that using some of Bootstrap's classes. I should be able to just come to my header section and if I use a text dash white and at this point we don't really need the background light since I've now filled this area with the image, you'll see that now all my text is white and that makes it a little bit easier for us to see. Now currently this hero area is going to be responsive it is going to stretch and just take up the entire width of the screen. So if I want to restrict this from happening, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get rid of this div. We actually shouldn't need this. And then we'll just add the container class to the header. And now if we refresh our page, you're going to see how the hero section is not going right to the edge. And as we resize our screen, it's going to eventually max out and not get any wider. In this way, we can really control this area of our page 
and make it function in a manner that's going to be conducive to however we want our website to look.